The mid-1960s could be regarded as the heyday of Shaw Brothers. During this period, Shaw Brothers had created a film city second to none in Asia and produced countless large-scale classic movies. It also cultivated many big name stars. Let I Bruce Lee take you to see Shaw Brothers super hit actress lineup between the mid 60s and the early 70s. Shaw Brothers boss Run Run Shaw's right-hand assistant Raymond Chow started his own business in the early 1970s and established Golden Harvest. Even though Raymond Chow was very capable and familiar with the film industry, it was far from Shaw Brothers in terms of human and financial resources. To compete with Shaw Brothers, it was absolutely impossible for Golden Harvest to invite movie stars who have contracts with Shaw Brothers to help out. The only way was to train themselves like Shaw Brothers did in their early years. As for the lead actresses, Golden Harvest recruited Maria Yi from Taiwan, while they recruited Nora Mu in Hong Kong.
Maria and Nora, aged under 20s, were a couple of years younger than those super-hit Shaw's actresses. Nora was especially fresh and refined among the two, though not as mature and charming as them. That's how Golden Harvest managed to break out a bloody road under insufficient conditions. The few sets of opening works in 1971 began to attract a certain number of audiences. In the first The Invincible Eight directed by Lo Wei, Noor only played a supporting role, but she has already made her mark, and then she played the lead actress in The Blade Spares None and The Comet Strikes, and won the name of the Golden Harvest Princess. Let's take a look at how Golden Harvest introduced the new actress Nora Mew to the audiences. In the period 1950 to 1970, over the past 20 years, a large number of talents have emerged in the film industry. Some have fallen. Some have stood up. Check out our newcomer today. Nora Mew, a gem in the film industry. Nora Mew. The talent among the talents is Nora Mew. In 1971, Nora made a cameo appearance in The Big Boss for the first time in Fashion Clothes, and later filmed Fist of Fury and The Way of the Dragon as the first lead actress in 1972. Bruce Lee passed away mysteriously in 1973, his posthumous work Enter the Dragon and Old Works were selling pretty well around the world. Under the Bruce Lee effect, Nora's popularity has never diminished over the years, especially overseas. In 2023, 50 years after Bruce Lee's death, when you take a look at some messages from fans of Nora from various countries in I Bruce Lee's message area, you will know what no change in 50 years is all about. She was very beautiful. She was such baby. Really loved how she looked in Fist of Fury, she looked so cute. I think anyone who saw Nora on film was immediately smitten. What an angel face. That's why so many men all over the world still love her. Incredibly beautiful girl. She and Bruce would have made a great match. They would made a perfect couple. It is a pity that Nora did not become his wife, such a couple would be lovely. I would have done it for sure. I was in love with her. She was and still is gorgeous. I'd have married her. The chemistry between them was great, but as cute as she was can you blame him? Ever since I became a Bruce Lee fan, early 1970s, I always had a crush on Nora Mew, super duper good looking. So the pretty little girl way back then, I'll remember the days of our prime if I can still recall in the 1970s. The girl was so simple and pretty in her role as a young leading lady in that film but she was the most favorite among his leading ladies and the heartthrob of the millions of Bruce Lee fans around the world. I don't blame him. She was a doll. I am telling you. No Bruce Lee, no Nora Mew. Over the years, many people have said that without Bruce Lee, there would be no Nora Mew. To be fair, Nora had established herself as a first-line actress in the film industry before she met Bruce Lee, and Bruce Lee's occurrence just pushed her to another level, creating an icing on the cake effect. Without further ado, let I Bruce Lee take you to review Nora's demeanor in the films before meeting Bruce Lee.
好一个人，叫送到这儿来，叫他们进来吧。是他们绑住了你的手，过来，我替你解开。过来呀，怕什么？怕你退得快。绣花针最细了，刺破了你的咽喉，可不是玩的。早就跟你说过了，走不了的。你是谁？我叫江燕。你不要这么暴躁，我是什么都不管的，要等海二哥回来才知道。我已经回来了。你不是告诉过我，近几年来江湖上出现了一个行侠仗义的侠士？此人名叫方逸飞，在江湖上颇有侠名。横行霸道，海二哥，他处处看不起你，欺负你，只怕他们什么都没有说出来就没命。嗯，是不是不够资格？我不要你管，行不行？那还不结了吗？可以叫这些边镇高手收队了。手上的。他来，他来，他来，哎，哎，哎，哎，哎，哎，我刺中了你什么穴道？是那些人不是刺客吗？对啊，叶谁？找我干什么？那多悬呢！我不怕万事。这样蛮好的嘛，挺漂亮的。我不是在这看风景，我是在想破边阵的办法。这把剑，我就叫它铡边剑。分开来的时候我那两颗是，我多得很呢。你要是喜欢，我偏不告诉你。你能帮我怎么？你最少要再苦练十年。现在你要是追得上我呢，我就告诉你，谢天俊不大相信。哎，有个姓邱的直追我，让我耍的他已经
。你不要管我是什么人，我不但知道，我还知道很多事情。打得过我，我就告诉你。来，跟在这儿等你呀、啊。我，我当然是好人了。父亲叫你不要跟做官的人来往，你为什么还要来找邱天河、啊？天星庄的武功天下闻名。哦，就这底下。好啊。邱天河他们怕死，想让你去。三哥，带走吧。如果你父亲不是想做御前侍卫总管，怎么啊？我告诉你一件事：凡是拿着我珠子的人，不能够活着回就是盛掌柜，是。你在京，他们一共有几十个人，这帮朋友来头很大，你要小心说到就到。哦，这是师傅的命令，这些人。那，不乖。我，师哥。跟沈掌柜都死了，再过去四五里路，就可以有传承。Bruce, I will always remember you. Before the closing, let's listen to the poem Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, remember you always, written by I Bruce Lee to express our remembrance of the legendary Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee, remember you always. Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee, remember you always. Remember how many punches you threw a day. Remember how many kicks you took a day. Remember all the roles you played. Remember all the quotes you made. Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee, love you always. No matter how long you passed away. No matter how far you went away. Life is short anyway. We might meet you in heaven someday, Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, let's greet each other at the gate. Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee, let's greet each other at the gate. Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee, let's greet each other at the gate.